Serena, very good. Hey. Uh, I'd like to see you. your character telling was excellent, I've got to say. Thanks. And now, um, <laughs> you've been doing this for a little while now. Maybe you went to Japan. What's, what's the difference with Japan and North America? You know, because I'm sure there are culture differences. Oh, a huge culture difference. For you know, wrestling. Yeah, well. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, both. Like, huge culture difference in and out of the ring. Um, in the ring, you know, like, there it's, wrestling is still, like, really respected, almost on, like, a martial arts level, you know? Right. So the crowds are really quiet, and they just, it's like, they're really quiet, and then they, when they like something, they applaud, but it's, like, very soft. Right. Here in the crowd, you know, they get rowdy, they want to yell at you. Yeah, they want to interact with you, you know? Like, it's fun to, it's fun to yell at the crowds, and want to yell back at you. I mean, you know, it's so it's it's as much as as wrestling is physically like really hard on the body. It's it's the entertainment value here is like really yeah. important too. Hard on the body, you would say. How do you feel in the morning sometimes? <laughs> when you're you're doing all this stuff, you know, taking some kicks and falling yeah. fall all the time. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm sure it's not easy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of those things. It's like you know. It, Yes, it's an entertainment, but it's still a consecutive fall and fall and fall, yeah. and you know that I mean, it hurts the body after. If you're trying to get fired, you can take more pain. I'm sure. Yeah, well, kind of goes both uh, ways. Okay. I mean, you know, it's like you know, the more you do it, you know, over time you definitely are a little bit more beat up, but um, but then you just learn to protect yourself more, and um, but yeah, I mean, it definitely like some some mornings you wake up and. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to get up sometimes. You think there are people that take it too seriously? You know, uh, when, when you come in and you know they start insulting you 100%, do you think it's alright? Because uh, they pay for the ticket? Oh, you mean the fan? Yeah, the fan. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know what, those are the, more, those are the most fun people. Because, because they're totally yeah, dedicated they're just, to you. They're so dedicated. Yeah. They're so into it. And, and sometimes, you know, like sometimes the people that are the most interactive with you, you kind of single them out and you pay most attention to them. You know, the person that's yelling the most at you, you're going to yell at them back, you know. And, and then they're part of the show. They're part of the show. Yeah. When well, you yeah. think of uh, wrestling versus music, it's almost all linked together. You get your music yeah. teams coming in to pump you up. Yeah. You got um, everybody's fans of music. You know? Oh, absolutely. And you know, what do you think of that? You know, how it's linked together? It's interesting, like I live in Los Angeles now, okay. and since I've been out there, I've, I've made friends and, and met a lot of musicians. Musicians, of course. And it's so funny because when we exchange stories about like being on the road and entertaining and performing and what goes into it and the backstage and then this and that, there's so many similarities, it's right. not even funny. Like, I mean, I always connect a lot with musicians because it's, you know, it's, it, it's an entertainment industry, you know, it's all within entertainment, so even though I have different aspects. Yeah. But you're right. I mean, it, music is like the that team's music is just as part of much a part of the show. You know, it gets the people really pumped up, and yeah. it's. I but I, I just think life on the road, no matter what aspect it is, is, is very. There's a lot of some. And life on the road can get hard, I'm sure, because I mean, yeah. Except now with technology, like yeah, unheard of. You know, like the iPhone and stuff. Thing. You're a little closer to the world when uh, when you're traveling. Yes. But I mean. Versus when you first started it, I'm sure it changed a lot with the technology to keep you occupied. Yeah, absolutely. It's funny to listen to like the old the old guys, like the, the wrestlers that right. wrestled in like the seventies, eighties talk, you know, they're like, we didn't even have GPS, you know, we read maps and blah 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 to find our way. Could they be more intelligent doing that or are we more intelligent now with you know all this stuff at our hands? I mean it's just evolution, you know, it's just like how it's just the generations like changes. Every every generation has more and more and more technologically. It's just going to continue to grow. Okay. I mean, 20 years from now, we'll probably be saying to them, "Hey, or, you know, in our day, 20 years ago." Yeah. Well, so, we, so it's really a pleasure, uh, you know, to uh, meet you and uh, so. great work tonight. Thank you. And uh, keep up the great work. And you know, night after night, we're on the road tonight. We are. You know, starting now. <laughs> <laughs>